I'm in the Arctic Circle, and the big question for me is, why? The great outdoors means different things to different people. I'm more the great indoors type of guy. But I've agreed to explore what lies outside my comfort zone. A world I've spent my whole life avoiding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beautiful mountain. That's a volcano. That's a volcano. I think I'm feeling a heart attack coming on. I'm not entirely sure what I signed up for, but what's the worst that can happen? Oh, my God. First time I've had my hand up an elephant. <laughs> Hi, Eugene. I mean, you see, you start out. Uh, you started out as an indoors kind of person before the show. Now, uh, now, now they've done the show. How how much of an outdoors person are you on a scale of one to ten? Um, I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. To be honest, I I don't know whether I'm ever going to completely get there. You know, um, it's just uh, I, I I'm, uh, but I would say um, I I'm nosing up to a. a four, you know, I think, mm -hmm. but, um, uh, an outdoorsy kind of, listen, I, I, um, uh, there were certain locations that we, that we went to that I, I was completely taken by like Utah, um, you know, the Almond Geary in Utah. If you saw that episode, it's in the, you know, in the desert. Um, uh, I, I was taken by the, um, uh, the, the rock, the 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 rock formations uh, that had been um, uh, shaped by millions of years of weather, and you get a strong sense of the history of this planet just by being there and looking at it. I found that kind of fascinating for kind of a desert uh, 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 desert kind of climb. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, j jungle or rainforest or any of that kind of creepy crawly kind of uh, thing, I probably will never quite get there. That's that's not going to happen, I don't think. But um, I'm getting there. In some of the episodes, you mentioned the Utah episode, there are a lot of, you engage in a lot of activities involving fathers and sons. Was that a coincidence or is it by design? You know, I have family is is very important to me in my own life. It's it's my number one priority uh, when I when I'm dealing with other families and family situations, I I feel a very strong connection um, and it's a, it's a very comfortable uh, 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 relationship that I find myself in with them. I, I was um, uh, the father and son uh, situation in, um, in Venice. This was a gondolier uh, and his son who was learning to be a gondolier. Um, and I kind, of, I kind of related to that, of course, because I went through that with my own son, um, um, watching him, you know, uh, rise to a level of being a great writer and uh, an actor and producer and director. But that's that's uh, the relationship we had when he was, uh, you know, coming up. I related to that. I spent time with a, a Puerto Rican, uh, not Puerto Rican, sorry, Cost Costa Rican family when I was in Costa Rica. Um, I, I truly enjoyed that and uh, was with a family in Utah, uh, Navajo, uh, in the Navajo Nation, a lovely family, I spent an evening with them. And those were, the, those, those were truly the most memorable aspects of the, of the trips for me. On the show, uh, in every episode, you carry this suitcase, just one suitcase. <laughs> is that just a prop or is it all you carry on each trip? I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll let. Yeah. So I'll let you in on a secret. It's just a prop. Um, it's it's uh, like somebody said. Boy, it doesn't look that heavy. I said, No, there's nothing in it. It's just it's just a prop. But I love that suitcase because it's um, it's so old fashioned looking that you just don't see those things anymore. 
And as a prop, I absolutely loved it. They wanted me to have a suitcase and different shots in different locations where I kind of pick it up when I arrive and wander off. And again, it's all used in how they cut the show. Um, but um, yes, there's nothing in it. I don't travel, I don't travel that light. I like to avoid violence at all costs. How are you doing over there? Not bad, I'll be opening my eyes momentarily. Just surviving would be great. You need some help? No, I got it. There is a world outside the resort. We always try to find the positive way. Pura Vida. Pura Vida. It's about what's really important. Nature, family, the friends that I met. I'm going for it. Let the screaming begin. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is the last time I have five vodkas with a fin. <laughs> I hope you come for season two, you come to Singapore. Uh, that is quite possible, okay? Mm -hmm. Pass it, I, well, will I will pass it on. Thank you. You got it.